can you tell me how your experience has been since you um, came to Parliament in February as, as the youngest member of Parliament um, in the history of Parliament? It's, it's certainly been a journey and I, I can recall the first day I got here was actually November and it was an impeachment debate and so I spoke to the chief whip and he said you're about to have a baptism by fire <laughs> and so to sit there um, having had the expectation of meeting role models, of meeting lawmakers who had one clear project and mandate which was to serve. Um, it, it exposed the reality of South African politics and it exposed to me that indeed not each and everyone who's here is here for the right reason or even to serve. And so it became a reality that I had a huge burden um, that I was carrying and responsibility which was to not only serve the people of South Africa to the best of my ability, but also I had the huge obstacles that I needed to surpass. I mean, it's common fact that you've never had met too many young people in Parliament. And so there was always that stigma, what's this child doing here, you know, why are you not at school? And so I had to work um, to prove that I deserved to be here and that I was indeed fit for purpose and was able to articulate the issues on the ground and to really show myself as a public representative that is accountable, transparent and seeks to serve and redress the legacy of the past. So it's been a great learning experience. It's been a wonderful journey. It has its challenges, but the people of South Africa inspire me to continue going so because it doesn't matter what obstacles will come for us. It doesn't matter even where you come from because you should never allow circumstances to define and limit what we're capable of achieving. And so for me, I would hope that I can continue to serve to the best of my ability, that I can continue to inspire, I can challenge those in higher positions and I can ensure that the policies and laws we make have a positive influence on our people of the ground and that indeed we seek to have a free and fair society with equal opportunities for all. What is the first thing you would do if you were to become president? <laughs> well that would have been an interesting journey <laughs> but I think more than anything as, as I constantly speak about is that we need to have one unified South Africa and so man would have a paradigm shift in our thinking to be able to look beyond the color of one's skin to be able to look beyond one's age and the cut and the agenda but to ensure that we value humanity above all that we all seek to have justice and equal opportunities for many South Africans so man would be to unify South Africans to have one nation with one common purpose and goal.